Hello and welcome back to the garden. It is a really, really bright sunny day today. And so we've had to put a tarpaulin above where we're filming because the sun is so bright. It's actually showing just under 30 degrees Celsius in the shade. So it's quite warm today. It's the wrong time of year, but it's right. It's nice and warm. We're not going to knock it because we haven't had a lot. Now the first thing I'm going to do, we purchased two blueberry plants, as you can see. Now I'm going to pop them into these, well I think these are two and a half litre pots. And I'm going to grow them on, as you can see that one's not so bad, that one. That one's going to lose those leaves. Now they have come from Scotland so they might be used to a little bit cooler weather than what we've got down here. I shall pop them in the ericaceous in these and then pop them on again till they're really really big established plants. Once we see them cropping and um, the core titanium which is a very large blueberry now if they're as good as they say then we'll think about changing our blueberries we have now which we don't even remember what they were called or we've had them that long so we might take those out revamp that area and if these are good we'll put these in but that's quite a way down the line yet. I'll just get something to put underneath else we're going to get compost everywhere. I put some good quality ericaceous compost in here actually. Um, and I don't know what they're in at the moment or what they've got. It looks like cocoa, cocoa uh, compost or coconut compost, I don't know. But we'll pop them into this. They sit well in there. I'll just tighten it down because they'll be in there for some time. And we'll put the label in. Titanium. That's one. And the other one. And this one's got a few brown spots on the leaves, I think. I think I'm going to pot it because these leaves will drop off as you can see naturally. I'm not going to take them off. Either. The top leaves look okay, so we'll pot it anyway. Again. That should be alright. So there you are, our two new blueberries titanium. Now they will be watered but I won't water them on this bench. Now I'm going to show you how I clean my onions ready for nearly stringing. While I'm preparing that Diane's going to put you some footage on of some of the harvesting we've done earlier in the week. See you in a moment. I just wanted to quickly show you that I've lifted some of the potatoes this afternoon. The red ones are Sapomira and the ones with the red patches on are King Edwards. Not a bad crop but not as big as what we usually get but we've had some bad weather this year. Now I've just pop down to the tomatoes as you can see we've got such a lot to harvest so we're going to set two and get them get them off before it rains now we've been out and harvested those tomatoes that were ready as you can see there's quite a few now 
these here are the Roma and the Pink Tigers. Now these are the last of the Coco de Pampo. We've got a few now that we've already got dry in for seed but these will be the ones that we'll go for using in the winter. As you know I don't usually do broad beans for overwintering because of all the wildlife around here but my neighbour gave me some plants so I've put them in this year and we'll see how we can get them through the winter. Might be all right. They might need a cane, a, one of those green flower sticks on each one and tapping it on because it does get a little bit windy down here. Pop down to the bottom, it's very, very hot. But I do need to top up these potatoes that we're growing for Christmas. They've come up well and this line I've already topped those up so I've just got these two pots here to top up. All I do is pull them to one side. You can see that they're it's about half full at the moment. But we want to bring it to two thirds. We can always top them up again. The compost is the old compost from the pots etc with a bit of soil in it and some blood fish and bone. Not a lot though, so you don't want them too big. If you give them too much nitrogen they have a massive tops on them. It's best to wait and feed them later. I put a little bit of uh, bark in the in the compost as well to hold it open a bit so it doesn't get stodgy oops and one more I think and I think that will do that one this other pot while we're here Round the edge first, there's a lot of tops coming up. Put plenty in. And put some in the middle. little bit more just there. I'll just get a little bit of water just to level it out a bit. Now the cabbage plants and cauliflower plants we've got over there I want to plant but obviously it's far far too hot at the moment. So we'll plant those just when it cools down a bit. There's quite a few. They're uh, mini coal and the uh, cauliflower autumn and some late cabbages there. They'll be spring cabbages now, they won't make it in the autumn. It's, uh, it's not a good idea to water in this heat but this will just settle that compost down and keep them a bit cooler if nothing else. Not a lot, I'll water them again tonight. There you are. As you can see there's a few peppers ready in the greenhouse. I'll just nip in and harvest them and then show you what I've got. Because it's very very hot in there as you can imagine. Now that's the last of the peppers I've leaving here. So we'll take these up to the house when it cools down a little bit because it's 45 44.9 in here at the moment. 
so I'll have to come down when it cools down a little bit and I'll take these pepper plants out then. Now these are the onions that we lifted out of the garden and we put them initially we put them in the greenhouse on the trolley you know the five shelf trolley but then it was getting a bit hot in the day so we actually took them into the shed behind the greenhouse which was a little bit cooler out of the bright sun at this stage all we want to do is take off what wants to come off I'm not going to do that and peel any so and I use my hand fist if you like as the gaze to cut that off and then anything that's really loose like that I just push down and then I take that off just trim the roots a little bit now while you're doing it feel around the base you feel any soft if your thumb goes in that's a reject now I should leave them they now go in the trays and then I should leave them in these mushroom trays on here in the day or if it looks like it's going to be raining etc I just pop them straight in the shed I don't want them wet again because when we're coming in a week or so when we start to string them I will need just to clean them that little bit more ready for storage. I don't want to be peeling any of these other leaves off at this stage. If I take those loose ones off and the roots and the top you'll find that these that are loose but still stuck like this they'll come off anyway in about 10 days that'll dry out and you just take it straight off and you've got a lovely clean onion underneath. But at this stage, this is all we do. And then turn them. Um, just take it off steady. That one's off, look, so we take that off. Just rough them round. And then they go in the red crate. There will be a lot of mess when you're doing onions, so have a big bucket ready to take the mess away you can go on the compost heap now although they look quite large we even got some like this that haven't really grown on much but it's grown on a bit that's from the seed so what we should do we'll do the same for these obviously that's not going to be used on the string and then they're the ones that we use first uh, they come in all sizes look there's a real it looks real dirty that if you just rough it round if it wants to come off take it off if it doesn't don't take it off yet this skin's there for a reason and um, you just if you pull the roots down a bit you can soon take those off you see it's no good going around skinning all these but if you do skin it and you get to some where it's not quite red, if you leave it for a little while, they soon redden up anyway. Let's, let's just see if we can see one that's this one. Yeah. This is a large one. I think we've actually got some a bit bigger than these. These big ones it'll be difficult to get onto the to the string so any really large ones I keep in a mushroom crate and they're what we use first but the same again look take the top off just pull the bits off rough them round don't take anything off that doesn't want to come off at this stage and then just trim it and you'll find in about a week or so all this will just be loose on top and it will just come off and leave you a nice shiny onion but we'll do we'll do a few of 
You see, you could sit here, you could stand here a while taking all this off, but you might as well let it do it for you. It's no problem. No, <laughs> it comes off anyway. If there's any dirt stuck to it, don't try scratching it off because if you'll scratch the onion, then you, you could get some disease in it. But again, there's a little one, look. We'll just top and tail that one. And that will go for immediate use. Here's a good one. Just rough it. You'll find all that will come off later anyway. We'll do a few more of these. I'll show you how many you can get in a crate. We were actually going to plant some brassicas today ready for winter. They're quite big plants and we said right we'll get them in today but a temperature of 30 degrees in full sun down the garden. I think we'll leave them for a little while. If we do go if we do go down tonight when it's cooler and plant them and we'll make sure we film it for them. We'll just do this one and then what I should do I'll fill one of these trays and show you how many can get in. Right we'll see you in a minute when we've done. Now that's uh, one crate done if you like. There's 12 in it and that makes it easier for taking them in and out the shed should the weather break. I just want to show you this one that I just picked up to do. If you see that dark piece there, it, I'm a little bit concerned that that's a bit soft. That's hard. That's a bit soft. So that one will not go to store. It'll be... Let's have a look what's underneath. Can't get it all off, I don't think. Yeah. Look, can you see where the bruise marks is underneath? That's soft. So that's going rotten inside. It must have had a bruise at some stage. In the lid, there you are, now you see it. Don't store those and don't use them now. It's no good at all. And certainly not on the compost heap. Else it'll start growing from all the bits that are any good on it will start growing. It would have been a nice onion though, but as soon as you get round there, you can see the bruise. It's not worth keeping. Enjoy your week everyone, and we'll see you shortly. Bye now.